So when I was a young woman in New York, a Broadway baby in 19, I would say 73, uh, 22 years old, turning 23, and um, I didn't have a lot of money. You know, as a gypsy, a dancer, we would go from job to job, and I had a big audition for a commercial, a callback. And I didn't have enough money to take the cab all the way to the audition. I was afraid of the subway, so I wanted to stay in taxis anyway. So I was gonna jump out of the cab and run the last two blocks to get there on time. When I paid the cab driver, I only had 10 cents change, and that was all the money that I had. And I felt like, oh, well, I can't leave him 10 cents as a tip, I'll just take that. When I gathered my things to get out of the car, because I didn't leave him a tip, the cab driver, who was, who was white, looked at me and he lashed out at me and he said, you know tipping black inward cunt. I couldn't believe that I was being spoken to like this. I was from Texas. I, I mean, I experienced the racism, but no one had ever talked to me like that. And it was like somebody had slapped me in the face. So I was so enraged I looked through his window and I punched him in the face and I broke his glasses. And I said, how dare you talk to me like that? Who do you think you're talking to? You can't talk to me. I was so upset, I started crying. He was shocked that I punched his ass. And I was, so then I looked for a policeman and I looked up and I found a policeman and I said, officer, this man insulted me, he attacked me, blah, blah, blah. The policeman looked at me and he laughed at me. And he said, calm down, calm down. I might have to arrest you. I said, well, take me in, just take me in. And um, the policeman was very nice and he calmed me down. And um, he told me to go to that audition and get the job and that I had to forget about what happened, that that was one person and that I ha couldn't take that with me. The policeman told me I couldn't take that with me to the audition. And so I went there and I did get the job but it was an ugly experience that stayed with me forever, that it could come to you out of the blue, out of nowhere, and you really might react. I reacted, I didn't really think I reacted, but I think if it happened to me again, I would do the same. I'd punch his lights out.